Hi everyone, Aaron with AOP Tech. And today we're gonna to be talking about uh, how to upload that new group of students into your Google Admin Console. The bulk report has changed a little bit, so I wanna talk about some of the settings in that for help to get you prepared for the beginning of the school year. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to grab the bulk upload template from the admin console. And so for here, I'm in my admin console under users, and I'm just going to come to the big yellow plus sign, bulk upload users, and I'm going to grab the download CSV template. And we are going to do this in Excel because I think there's uh, a couple tools in there that work really, really well for this. So go ahead and grab that template. And then I also have... Uh, this is the list of students that I need to add in and, and you know sometimes we don't necessarily get this in a file format that we really like so in this case I'm dealing with a Word document um, and that's just how you know whether you know is my admin assistant or the teacher from last year or however I got this um, you know if it's in a CSV Excel Google Sheet format already that's awesome but sometimes that's not always the case so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy my list of incoming students And I'm going to jump into the blank template. Now, I have expanded some of these. When uh, you first download it, it will be uh, very compressed. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come up here to my column A, and I'm going to insert a new column. And then I'm going to come to the second cell, so not the first cell, the second cell. And that's when I'm going to paste in my list of names. So I have just a list of names, but I need to separate them. <clears throat> and to do that, we're going to use a really, really cool tool called Fast Fill. So with Fast Fill, it works with one call, with one cell entry, but it works even better with two. So I need to separate this list into first, last, and email address. But I don't want to have to do a lot of typing, especially if I have hundreds and hundreds of these to do. So I'm going to take my first student, and I'm going to type in her name, Dorothy. And then I'm going to click on the next cell and type in my second student's name, Rose. I have my first two names in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the Data tab. And then I have an option called Flash Fill. And this is really cool. This is where it's going to look at what I did. And it's going to see this column here. And it's going to fill them all in for me. And there we go. We can see the fact that it's copied every name. And this works well with uh, first names. We can do it again with last names. So let's see, Dorothy, Z-B-O-R-N-A-K, and Rose, N-Y-L-U-N-D. And then I'm going to click on Flash Fill. And boom, we're going to see, again, Sophia's, Blanche's, Stanley's, everybody's last name comes all right on over. Um, and certainly this would also work if I just needed initials, uh, whether it was first initial or last initial. And then we get to the email address part. So for Dorothy, her email address is going to be D, and then Z-B-O-R-N-A-K, at, and then I'm going to put my domain. And this is where you're going to want to make sure you do it for at least two users, otherwise um, it will it will use the first initial for everybody. So we're going to make sure we do Rose as well. So Rose, N-Y-L-U-N-D, at. Oh, so now that I have done the first two, I'm going to come back to my data tab, flash fill, and we notice that it's going to pull in email addresses for everybody else. Now the new column... Um, and this wasn't here in previous years, is the org unit path. So before you dropped all your students into your main uh, domain and then you had to move them manually into your suborgs, um, and you can still do that, but it is asking for an org unit path. Now to get this path, um, in a previous video, uh, in fact, in the first video, which if you haven't watched it, it will be right over there, um, I told you how to pull a bulk report from the Google Admin Console, and I asked you to choose the one that said include all the columns. 
And the reason I did that, I'm going to switch to that one right now. The reason I did that was it included the, the org path column. Now I have filtered out all my other ones, but this is really helpful because I can I don't have to type all this. So I'm going to copy this and then I can paste it in my new org path and I can paste that in. Now let's say these these were going to the class of 2022. So I'm just going to paste that in there twice. Change it to 2022 and now I can select both and pull down. Okay, so here I am in my admin console and I need to make sure that I create that sub org before I upload those students to it. Um, so I'm going to come to my Manage Organizational Units tab, and I can do that either through there or if I'm in here, I can click on right here. And here's my high school. And here's my students column, and I need to add a class of 2022. So I go ahead and click Create. So here we have the uh, sub org 2022 we notice that there are nobody there are no students in here so now i'm going to click on the uh i want to make sure i've saved my file with my org path and we have usernames passwords and we have it to reset the passwords upon login now one thing we do need we need to get rid of this column if i try to save and upload this file right now google will reject it so go ahead and delete uh if you added in a working column make sure you have the first column column a is their first name so just make sure you do that you can save it and then we're going to come here click on bulk upload attach csv grab that file uh, and again this will, will uh, you know depending on uh, the number of users you're uploading uh, this could take a couple minutes i went ahead and refreshed my page and now here we have in the class of 2022, we have all of our people. And we can, if we check just to make sure the password, we can see the fact that password required change is on. So I know the next time they sign on, uh, they will be asked to change their password. So this is Aaron for AOP Tech, and hopefully you've enjoyed that video. Like I said, this is a video series on the admin console. And you can check out the next video in the series right over there. And feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments below. So Aaron for AOP Tech, thank you so very much.